Welcome back to The Rich Life. I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna talk about Kate Moss. Kate Moss was recently brought up in the ongoing case of Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Amber has addressed some allegations throughout her $50 million defamation case, and this is the most recent one. The Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard trial has been a massively seen broadcast, and people are really interested in what the verdict will be. The trial has taken a break for a few days and will return shortly. However, on the last day of the trial, there were a few shocking revelations. During the first part of the trial, We've seen that the first to testify was Depp, who gave his testimony in a cool, calm, and collected manner. Just this week, it was time for Amber Heard to take the stand, and she held nothing back as she cried, moaned, and resurfaced old controversial affairs of Depp. Heard mentioned that she got scared that Johnny would throw her down a flight of stairs like he allegedly did to Kate Moss, a situation that has never been brought to light, like nobody's ever spoken about it, so where did this come from? Despite the allegations, Kate Moss has never claimed their relationship was violent. However, fans are now keen to learn more about their relationship. Kate Moss is a British supermodel who has a net worth of $70 million. Over the course of her career, Kate Moss became a household name all over the world in the 90s and at the end of the so-called supermodel era. Outside of her activities as a model, Moss has become an active contributor to the fashion world, creating several of her own clothing and perfume lines. Kate Moss is considered by many to be one of the world's most influential people. She's also one of the highest paid earning models of all time. During her peak years in the early 90s, she's earned well over $100 million. In 2008, the British Royal Museum exhibited an 18 karat gold statue of the fashion legend, reportedly worth almost $3 million. In 2009, she was ranked as the 99th richest woman in the UK. At the age of 14, Kate Moss begun her modeling career in 1988 and got her major break when she was featured in the Levi's for Girls campaign. After a number of other important photo shoots, Moss developed a reputation for being an anti-supermodel of the early 90s. Her aesthetic was completely different compared to the other models of that time. She wasn't as tall or curvy as other models, but the fashion industry appreciated the new aesthetic. This new trend wasn't without controversy, however, as various observers speculated about whether or not Kate had been having an eating disorder or not, many people spoke out about it, and following a drug abuse scandal, Kate Moss experienced a relatively short speed bump before her career accelerated onwards. Multiple figures within the fashion industry voiced their support for Kate Moss. Although the London Metropolitan Police questioned Kate Moss about her alleged drug use, they all dropped charges after it was clear that they had no real evidence of any of the wrongdoing. One year after her drug scandal, Moss signed 18 new contracts, including deals with Virgin Mobile, Burberry, and Topshop. She also continued to appear in the cover magazines and participated with brands like Chanel, Balenciaga, Dolce & Gabbana, Bulgari, and many others. In 2007, she designed her own clothing line for Topshop, and she allegedly earned £3 million as a result. After designing handbags for Longchamp, she modeled for Supreme in 2012. You know that really cool iconic brand that all the young millennials and Gen Zs whatever wear? Supreme red with the font, the white font, you know, you've seen it. The young kids said, hey Kate Moss, come join us, you know. That girl took the opportunity because she's with all the older heads. So when she said she's gonna wear Supreme, she's gonna be in with the young people and have everybody talking about her. So in 2013, she posted nude for Playboy. A year later, she received a special recognition award from the British Fashion Awards. Outside of modeling, Kate Moss has appeared in a wide range of music videos. She has even been in various acting roles over the years. In addition, Moss has created four perfume Lines. She even got a shout out from the best rapper ever, Kanye West. And it's in the opening bars of that hit song, Stronger. It goes, Let's get lost tonight. You could be my black Kate Moss tonight. You already know, right? So go bump that song when we're done this. You're welcome, Kanye. You're welcome. Kate's career has not only been free of controversy. In 2005, British tabloids ran a series of photos that showed Kate using baby powder substance, which led to Moss losing several endorsement deals, like H&M and Chanel. Now, H&M, the contract alone was allegedly worth four million pounds, and then Burberry also dropped Moss. So that woman lost a lot of money and this was a major blow. The scandal didn't really affect Moss's career in the long run though. In fact, her earnings actually increased in the years following. In the years after the scandal, Moss earned $5 million. In 2006, she earned $8 million and when 2007 rolled around, she was pulling in over $9 million in annual earnings. Good publicity or bad publicity is always good publicity, whatever, you know? Those three years were some of her best ever years in general, financially speaking. Now, she had so much money. In 2003, Moss paid about 
about two million pounds for a 10 bedroom property in the village of Oxfordshire and then purchased a mansion in London's Highgate district. Worth eight million pounds, the estate includes 6,728 square feet in living space and seven fireplaces. I mean, I don't even have one fireplace, so you know, hey, that girl's house is probably warm as hell. Johnny Depp and Kate Moss, they actually dated for four years, from 1994 to 1997. The actor and model were the power couple of the 90s. Everybody was talking about them. You're seeing them on magazine covers. You're hearing about them in interviews. They were jet setting around the world together and have always been spotted at the hottest events in Hollywood. At the time, the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory actor was 31 and the model was 20. Johnny and Winona Ryder did split and they were dating from 1989 till 1993. Yeah, so I mean, I guess, you know, Kate was maybe a rebound girl, but you know, they lasted for a while. Do rebounds last for a while? I don't really know. There's no evidence in them being violent. Of course, couples have their ups and downs. They were accused once of destroying a motel room. John and Kate plus eight, but John and Kate plus $9,000 hotel room bill because they did destroy the place after a night of hard partying. But you know, if the party was worth it, then hey, people spend millions on a wedding and it ain't even that great. They did not have any children together. Meanwhile though, the two are loving parents of children from previous relationships. Moss is the happy mother of Leela Grace Moss Hack, whom she shares with her ex-partner Jefferson Hack. And furthermore, Depp has two children, Lily Rose Depp, a daughter, and Jack Depp, a son. And both of these children are the result of Depp's marriage with the singer and actress Vanessa Paradis. In 2012, Kate Moss described the breakup with Johnny Depp a nightmare, saying that nobody's ever been there to take care of her like he did. She also mentioned that she really missed when she left and that she really lost the gauge of somebody that she could trust. If she's saying that her and Johnny Depp not being together is a nightmare after they've had so much time together, how bad could he have really been? Do you think Amber Heard is making some of these stories up because how was Kate crying for years and years saying that it's a nightmare not being with him? I think a nightmare would have been someone's beating you up. If Kate is really sad by this whole thing, do you think Amber Heard is making some of these stories up? I want to know. I really want to know because I'm starting to think Amber's a bit of a scammer right now. Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear what you have to say. Hit me up on Instagram too if you're down. My name's Aaron. You're watching The Rich Life. See you soon.